welcome back. Welcome to the newbies. Mm. Smoking a cigarette. Uh, I had this Rihanna, Rihanna download song, but I don't know the song. I don't listen to music anymore. It's so all of it demonic and whatever. I like to listen to my jazz, but this song is a song where she goes, ee, wee, something like that. I don't know. I don't know why that came up. I don't even know why, because I don't even know the lyrics. I don't even know the name of the song. Maybe that something for some of you guys, you know, maybe you know that song, but it's significant. So yeah, let's get into it. It's Friday. People are outside. You might hear some noise. I have the window open. So that the smoke out, the cigarette smoke. So let's get into the energy. I have no specific downloads really. Except for, yeah, this energy of somebody missing you. You being confused as to how somebody acted, treated you. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be non-romantic. You reevaluating stuff, you know, on your own, which you've been doing for a while. So you know how to deal with these energies. But it gets lonely, you know, sometimes. And sometimes you can even think it's your fault, but it's not. Because you're actually growing, guys. This is what's happening. You're actually, you're just growing, okay? And it's lonely. Um, you're expanding your consciousness and you're being more aware. This is what's happening. And that, most of the time, happens in, in loneliness when you're solo. And you have discipline here, you know? It's teaching you how to be on your own, how to be enough for yourself, if that makes, well, it makes sense, right? You're born alone and we will die alone. But I like this. Patience, giving Saturn vibes. So you're going to have to learn these lessons. You're learning something here for your own benefit. You're learning patience and discipline. You know, it's for you to accomplish what you set your mind to. It's to fortify your consciousness, your awareness, okay? And to trust in your inner voice and to know that you will always be guided correctly, okay? And to also know that all this is just testing your resolve and it's in order for you to acknowledge the gifts that you possess innately that are here to benefit not only you, but even others. It's for you to know your worth, your self-esteem. Okay, to open your mind. Okay, guys, so some of you, I feel like you're going through something kind of rough. There's this lonely energy I'm feeling here. It's, it's a very lonely vibe. You feel alone. But you're never alone. Spirit wants you to know you're never alone, guys. Never. We're actually never alone. Our ancestors, our spirit guides are here. Okay. Uh, uh, spirit wants me to tell you, you're going to be all right. All right? So this is the vibe here. Um, there's this energy of being betrayed as well. Like I said. <sighs> But you didn't do anything wrong. Spirit wants you to relax. You have calcite. Maybe um, some of you, Spirit is asking you to maybe pick up drawing, coloring, some type of meditation that has to do with art, painting maybe, beading, okay, to get your mind off of stuff. This is not the time to also get into useless conversations because you're very sensitive right now this is the time to manifest like i said you guys are manifesting or a manifestation is about to come true and that's why you're in this energy here where it feels lonely but it's it's just spirit preparing you for this manifestation that's coming through and therefore spirit cleaning up the energies around you because you have a really big ass manifestation coming through here. You're at the end of a cycle here. Moonstone. Moon energy. Feelings, right? Everything you're feeling is actually announcing 
something big, a manifestation that's coming into your life, something fertile, a dream of yours is about to come into fruition here with fertility and dreams. Okay, the loneliness you are feeling is actually your dreams manifesting. I'm hearing spirits say. Okay. The loneliness you're feeling is actually your dreams manifesting. And spirit wants you to know that. Again, avoid all unnecessary communication uh, social media because yeah you need to purify because all that is going to do is confuse you so you have clarity okay purification and, and communication are reversed purification and i mean clarification and communication are reversed the only card that's upright is purification okay so you're in a process right now of manifesting um, and then that's why you feel lonely, but it's spirit protecting you. I know it's not something we want to hear most of the time, but like I said, spirit is asking you to meditate. Okay. Whatever way that works for you. If you draw, you know, something really easy, I'm not asking you to do Lotus pose and meditate, you know, whatever. That's not for everybody. You know, there's so many ways of, for meditating of meditating. You know, you could Listen to meditation music. Um, you could draw, like I said, color book. Coloring books are very relaxing. Something to relax you, okay? Because we did have relaxation. Something to relax you. Whatever that looks like for you, do it. Listening to your favorite music um, hurts. Taking a bath, you know? Something like that. Let's get into Tarot Spirit. What do you have for the collective? I hope you guys are doing well. Happy weekend. Um, the shifts have happened. Mercury, you know, in Sag. Downloads. Um, realignment. DNA activation here. Mars is in Leo. Our dreams. We're manifesting. And it's lonely. I'm hearing it's lonely at the top. So maybe spirit is preparing because about to be yeah you're about to be at the top and it's gonna be lonely, so you need to be enough for yourself. This is about self confidence, self esteem. Remember I was saying, you're about to be on the top and it's going to be lonely on the top. So you need to prepare for that. So you're in preparation right now. You're in training because your manifestations are about to come true. A lot of them. There's a big bulk of card that just felt like they were like maybe thirty cards. Like a whole stack like this. One like this on the table. You have a lot of stuff that's about to drop in your life. Your manifestations. It's just it's not just one manifestation. It's a lot of you. Like the dream life that you've been dreaming of is being prepared. Your order is being prepared by spirit, I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah. All you have to do is wait patiently. Three of wands. Discipline. Be disciplined and wait patiently. For the stage to be built for you. She's on a pedestal here. They're building the stage for you. It doesn't feel like it. I hear some of you say. But it's happening. Trust me. Some of you, this is a divine counterpart coming towards you. You're manifesting love. Your twin flame. Your soul connection. Um, that's the truth. Some of you, it's abundance. It's pregnancy. Marriage. Your house, you know, having a house, picket fence, all that stuff. Something's happening here. In the, something's in the works, and it's coming fast, you know. It might, it says patience here, but the patience is a trick. It's to see if you're capable of that. But the minute you surrender, right, spirit is like, oh, okay. And then, boom, here it comes. Now, you, have, you might have a next that's coming back, a fake person, okay, I could smell this energy coming, this, this union coming, okay? Queen, king of wands. This person, there's a lot of fire here. You guys might be fire signs, especially Aries Leo. Um, this fake emperor can smell this union coming into fruition, okay? They broke your heart. <laughs> they could feel this, okay? So you might, because you have your manifestations coming, 
this is why spirit wants you to isolate right now and to be careful with communicating with people unnecessary talks drama stay inside if you can meditate cleanse your body cleanse your home prepare make room make space energetically physically because you have manifestations coming now we know these demonic energies okay demonic huge word but the darkness always likes to come in when big things good things are happening for us don't they is that the truth okay because you got big big things coming for you ace of pentacles ace of swords there's abundance here coming to you guys this confusion you feel this loneliness is just a preview to what is happening you have two aces the ace of clarity expanded consciousness in abundance and material gain and stability okay this is what's coming to you um you're going to be extremely happy but you just have to hold on a little bit longer spirit is saying okay let's get into the big ass what's the tea and situation shifts what is this knight of wands spirit and this emperor reversed uh who is this you energy what is it mm -mm. who is this what is this disturbance this interference this devil energy somebody has broke spiritually Maybe, I mean, they come up as an emperor, so they might be an emperor, really, have money and whatever, but they're broke spiritually. They never gave you anything. I told you they broke your heart, right? So, they might have money. That doesn't mean shit if your, your, your heart is black. You know what I mean? Who gives a shit if you have money? So, this person is spiritually broken. And you moved on. You moved on from this person. Thank you, next, it says. <laughs> so, they know. They feel you pull away. Some, some kind of shift happen, okay? But your abundance is coming, and now they want to keep you from moving on. See? Now they want to keep you from moving on, from getting your Ace of Pentacles. This person also might be going through some kind of financial um, stuff here and um, sees that you have a positive, you always had a positive mindset. Some of you even helped them with their business or just the energy you injected into this person made them grow exponentially. You were their good juju. You were a lucky charm, right? And since you left them, shit has been going and they're, they're, they're covered in bills and debt, okay? Yeah, they're not getting money anymore. They're not getting anything anymore. But I feel like it's their karma because of the way excuse me, they treated you, it's almost like spirit is retributing everything you gave to that person, is taking it back from that person and giving it to you. That's what it's giving. Like, spirit is bankrupting them to give it to you, okay? Because this person, mm -mm. and now they're haunted. <laughs> they're haunted. They're ha Of course they're haunted because they have memories, flashbacks, the side effects of like treating you the way they treated you is them, them being bankrupt, either literally or emotionally, just shit hitting the fan in their life. Nothing is going right in their life. They feel your absence. They feel now they appreciate your energy. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, wow. When Collective was in my life, everything was going great. I was abundant. And now... I'm having money problems, issues, people are disrespecting me, um, I'm having, I'm hearing even lawsuits, you know what I mean, I'm getting sued left and right and some stuff like that, there's no more passion in my life, I have no desire for nothing, uh, I'm empty, this person feels empty without you, it doesn't matter, even if they do have money, whatever, it doesn't matter, you left a void in their life. You did. And I feel like this is only the beginning because I told you, Spirit is about to really hit them with karma here. Um, and they know you pulled your energy because you're a queen rising. You don't, you don't, you're unfazed. This, expect a call from this person. I also heard that when I sat down. You know, and we had communication reverse. This person might call you up, okay, this weekend or this coming up soon, soon. And you're going to be 
Listen, I wouldn't an answer the call, but if you have to, maybe it's your baby daddy, baby mama, you have to. But this energy is what you're going to be giving. But to prepare, spirit wants you to recenter, okay? Spirit wants you to meditate so that you can be in that energy where you don't get sucked in again. You don't get sucked back in, okay? Or you don't let whatever the fuck they're saying affect you. Because you need to step into your power. Because you're about to come up and you're coming into the spotlight, okay? You're showing up as the queen of wands. And not only that, you have somebody coming in for you that is on your level. Queen of wands, king of wands. Last card spirit for the collective. Yeah, some of you have a child with this person. Now, because they can't reach you or whatever, whatever, they might use the children, which is sucky. Okay, look at this. Oh my God, Forster grudge holder. What did I say? Some of you have a child with this person. They're going to use it. So, you know, you want to like, <clears throat> you want to prepare. There's nothing scary here. Okay, guys. Okay. Nothing scary. But you need to keep this in mind. This person is showing up as a forcer. This is a forcer. Okay. Aries energy. The emperor reversed is an abusive, uh, selfish forcer <laughs> it's somebody that will do anything to get their way they will force their way to get what they want they force their way in they don't care and with this knight of wands i mean that's what they're gonna do because they feel you they feel your energy they know you you know them too but they know you they know it's gone they know you have stepped into your power queen rising uh, queen of wands uh, Okay, and this is driving them crazy. It's going to drive, it's already energetically driving them crazy. Whew. And uh, listen, if you have children, please, please protect your children. Have the talk with your children because this person is going to use that. This person is a forcer. They don't give up. Uh, they used to getting their way. But not today, baby, I heard spirit say. This person is very good with words when it suits them. They can be very aggressive with words, but they can be very good with words to manipulate. They're an Aries, but they could be some, some Gemini, a lot of Gemini in there too. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling here, okay? Shadow Gemini. So guys, be aware of this. Be aware of this person here coming. It's a forcer. They will do anything to get their way. Because you are rising, baby. You're feeling lonely and you're feeling attacked because you are about to get your manifestations. All right? Love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Look, they're a happiness hater. What did I say? Mm -hmm. They see you. They know some big is coming for you. They do. You know, and if they even go to child services, whatever, whatever they're trying to do, scheming, they have no facts because you just don't go to child services. People like, da, da, da. No, where are the facts? Where's the proof? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. All right, sir. What? Okay, where's the proof, sir? But still, just to create that chaos, they'll do it. Okay, because they're trying to cock block your manifestations and your union that's coming through here. All right. Keep that in mind, guys. Please meditate. Stay calm. Um, relax. Remember, meditate, stay calm, relax. Your manifestations are coming in. This is why this is happening. Get off the phone. Because there will be people, and not only this person, there will be people trying to confuse you. Clarity and communication reversed. You want to stay pure. That's why Spirit is asking you to meditate. All right, guys? All right. Love you. Take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.